So now we'll do problem 52 from chapter 17. So here we're asked to determine if the mixing of pairs of solution will result in a buffer. So for each problem, we can look at it uh, step by step. So uh, for A, uh, we can see easily right away that it will form a buffer because we have a conjugate acid-base pair. So if we have a conjugate acid-base pair, we will uh, be able to form a buffer. So for B, we don't have this, but we need to look closer. So when we add HCl to HF, um, the conjugate uh, acid, uh, conjugate base of HF, F minus, will form. So we will form the conjugate base by adding the strong acid. But we need to make sure that we don't add too much acid, because if we add too much strong acid, we're going to overwhelm the buffer we're trying to create. So we just need to quickly look at the number of moles of acid and of base. So the moles of HF is equal to the concentration times the volume. So if we multiply 0 0.1 by 0 0.150, we get 0 0.015 moles. Now, if we look at the moles of HCl, we want to multiply the concentration times the volume. And if we do so, we get 0 0.023 uh, six, uh, two, three, six. So since we have uh, more moles of HCl, it will completely consume the strong acid, uh, the weak acid. So no, we do not have a buffer formed. So for part, ooh, excuse me. So for part C, we have uh, HF and sodium hydroxide. So we can see here, um, just by comparing the concentrations and the volumes, we have the same concentration of both HF and sodium hydroxide. And we have a larger volume of HF. So we're going to have a larger volume of, of uh, weak base than we do strong acid. So we will form a buffer. And this is because NaOH forms conjugate base without consuming all the acid. So now if we look at D, we have uh, methyl amine and uh, methyl uh, ammonium chloride. So since we have an acid, a, a base and a conjugate acid, we say that we have the acid-base pair. So yes. And then finally we look at E, which is methylamine with HCl. Now once again, if we're just looking at concentrations and volumes, we can see that we have a larger volume of a higher concentrated base in methylamine. So we're gonna have more moles of base because the volume and concentration is higher. And we have uh, more, um, less moles of acid. So we're gonna have a situation similar to part C where we say yes, because HCl forms the conjugate acid without consuming all the weak base. 
so a buffer is formed. If in any of these cases we can't obviously tell from the concentration, for instance, if we have a lower volume but a higher concentration, we can always just multiply the two values to get the number of moles, as we did in part B here, to see directly compare the numbers.